3. Discantia Ispatisiae's common names are both lily, Moses in a basket, Moses in the cradle, and oyster plant. Tridescantia Ispatisiae is a tropical, sculptural, herbaceous perennial plant that works well in containers but must be brought inside during cold winters. Tridescantia Ispatisiae works well as a house plant. This plant is desired for its unusual inflorescence and attractive foliage. Look for the purple underside of the leaf and unusual bracket and close flowers to distinguish this plant from bromeliads. A moses in the cradle plant grows beautifully both as an outdoor plant and as a colorful indoor plant. The scientific name of a Moses in the cradle plant was originally Roeo discolor, then Roeo spatisiae, and now it's Tridiscantia spatisiae. It is the same family as the popular wandering Jew plant and the spider wart. Whichever name you decide to call these colorful plants, native to Mexico, the West Indies, Guatemala, and Central America, they are easy to care for and grow well both as an outdoor plant in temperate climates and as a house plant. The varieties sold as indoor plants are usually dwarf types and only reach a height about 6 to 12 inches. A moses in the cradle plant needs about 6 to 8 hours of bright indirect light or it gets leggy. When that happens, it's a good time to aggressively prune the plant during the spring. You can use the stem cuttings to propagate a new moses in the cradle plant. A moses in the cradle plant is easily recognized by its rosettes of long, lance-shaped, waxy leaves with vibrant purple undersides. The leaves come out from the bottom of the plant just above the ground. The most popular varieties sold have leaves that are green or a mixture of green, white, and purple stripes. Other attractive moses in the cradle plant varieties are the golden oyster, Tridiscantia spatisae citaras gold which has bright golden yellow and green strappy leaves. Aside from this, other attractive moses in the cradle plant varieties are the tricolor, Tridiscantia spatisae tricolor which has colorful pink green and cream variegated, strap-like leaves. A moses in the cradle plant is grown for its vibrantly colored leaves rather than its small three-petaled white flowers. The flowers grow out of spatas that are both or cradle-shaped which is how the plant got its distinctive name. Keep an eye out for spider mites that could drain the color from the leaves and mealybugs that often hide inside the clumps of leaves. A moses in the cradle plant is considered poisonous and toxic to cats, dogs, and small children. How to take care of this moses in the cradle plant? Let's go with the light requirement. 
A Moses in the cradle plant needs very bright light. If the plant gets less than 6 to 8 hours a day of bright light, the stems become leggy. Let's go with the water requirement. Before watering a Moses in the cradle plant, allow the top few inches of soil to dry out. Keep the soil drier during the winter months when all house plants, not just a Moses in the cradle plant, are not actively growing. Next, let's go with the fertilizer requirement. A Moses in the cradle plant needs to be fed monthly in the spring and summer with a balanced plant food diluted to one half the recommended strength. The plant does not require plant food during the autumn and winter. Temperature requirement. The ideal temperature for a Moses in the cradle plant is 60 degrees to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or equivalent to 16 degrees to 19 degrees Celsius during the day and about 10 degrees cooler at night. Moses in the cradle is a popular house plant related to the inch plant. You'll find that it's just an easy to grow. Put it in a small decorative container for a stunning table accent. A newer variety, Rowillo Discolor Variegata is even more spectacular with striped foliage in burgundy, pink, green, and cream color. Three Discantia Spotisi blooms any time of year. Small white three-petaled flowers grow in the leaf axils, nestled in boat-shaped bracts, giving this plant its common names, Moses in the Cradle, Moses in the Boat, and Boat Lily. Grow your plant in bright indirect light year-round to make it bloom. Brown leaf tips are caused by dry air. Raise the humidity in winter by misting the foliage with tepid water daily or using a cool mist room humidifier or place the pot on a tray of wet pebbles to keep the air moist around it. This delightful indoor plant is easy to care for and adds grace and beauty to most interiors. Thank you so much for your love and support.